<laughs> what an absolutely beautiful front door. Gorgeous lilac grey and matte paint finish. Very stylish. Yeah, I think we might have come dressed for the home. I'm expecting colour. Well, maybe not you, Michael. But definitely me and Anna. I'll, I'll, do, I'll do the next one, right? <laughs> yeah, except for this perfectly manicured walkway and the lovely little planters that are all different colours at the doorway. Wonder what we'll find inside. Let's do it. <laughs> wow! All the colours. All the colours. Oh, and the favourite spot. And for once, it's me blending into the upholstery. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> and I love that the favourite spot is in this beautiful, snug room painted in these dreamlike colours. I love how they turned a traditional home into a building made of sugar and sweets. <laughs> It's so nice to see all the little traditional details, isn't it? The way that they've juxtaposed the original tiles with these really crazy kind of neon splash tiles with green grout on the hearth. There's a playfulness here, isn't there? Mm -hmm. Oh, more colour. Oh, I love the impact of this kind of arsenic green with the very pale minty green on the wall above. It's almost like wearing green tinted spectacles. I really like the room. You've got a nice little sort of arrival space. Mm -hmm. the table just looks as if it was obviously made mm -hmm. to be sat in there. It's the attention to detail though, I think, because look at all the mugs lined up on the hooks there. And just the way the shelves have been styled, it's really like, this is our personality. Our home is just like an expression of who lives here. And it's, that's nice to see, I think. Oof. Oh, look. <laughs> More colour popping. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> it's all over the shop. Oh my goodness, these towels are amazing. Hand done, if anything. It's shifted again. We've come from the green to the blue, but they're all connected, aren't they? And how wonderful to see them apply the same exuberance and love to what is actually a functional space, a utility space and a kind of pet area. It's the most exuberant pet space I think I've ever <laughs> seen. <laughs> Being consistent, aren't we? <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's a surprise every time, but also not. <laughs> I love what they've done with the floor. The kind of wood effect ceramic tiles, which I'm not a fan of, but they've used some tile paint to turn them into something really extraordinary and unique. Oh, <laughs> no surprises in here. <laughs> Oh, wow. Now that's a headboard, isn't it? That's so cool. I love that the headboard is made of corrugated steel. I and mean, it's a material that you see a lot on the islands used to kind of roof out buildings. But here it's been turned into a kind of beautiful Luke's item. I mean, this explosion of colour in every room, it's just, it's never going to get tired, is it? And can you imagine on days when the light changes and it all brightens up even more? You would just think it'd be a joy going from one room to another. You just never know what you're going to get. What a stimulating workspace. Oh, wow. More of that pink. A lovely vintage desk. Done some really clever furnishing at this one. Nothing feels forced, does it? It all feels very, very easy and comfortable. Mm -hmm. I love this artwork. I think it might be my favourite one so far. It seems to pull together all the colours that are in all the rooms in this home and also that kind of grid pattern that you see in the tiles with the kind of crazy grout colours. It's a very grey stone building on a slightly grey day. It's definitely not giving the game away when you walk into that front door and you're just hit with this explosion, these extraordinary, extraordinary colours. What a treat, what a joy, what an unexpected thing to find in Orkney. It's a brilliant example of what ingenuity and imagination and a whole lot of paint can do to create a really, really unique and wonderful home. <laughs>